Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know. My last tutorial was uh, released in uh, uh, December and now it's the end of February. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just uh, didn't have the space and time to do uh, the tutorials. The only time when I will be able to make more tutorials is the summer and uh, even during that period I will have to uh, <laughs> be lucky in finding a peace and quiet because uh, when it's summertime uh, my whole family is here, uh, my close family and my uh, uh, relatives so we will have uh, five times more people here than uh, they are already now. Yeah. Okay, so um, today I'm going to show you how to make a bezel uh, for 18 millimeter Rivoli rhinestone. Uh, this is not uh, originally my idea. I have seen this bezel from Anna Conti and if you want to proceed further I will leave the link down below to her tutorial where you can just continue making uh, a pendant which is gorgeous and that pendant inspired me to make uh, my own version and I will explain that to you uh, why I did it and how I did it in my next tutorial. So, um, I will show you how uh, her pendant looks. I have here, I have it here. It's this one. She named it Primula. And uh, this is our, you see this, oh, I need to sneeze. Oh, sorry. So, um, this is our bezel. I think that uh, her version was with uh, seven petals and I'm making it uh, with six because I'm only using 12 O seed beads for this bezel and she was using 15 O's I think and 11 O's something like that but you can it's just the same a little bit more maybe different appearance one petal less and that's all so we are going to make this bezel and this is the back side uh, if you look closely this bezel is uh, closing a lot uh, of the face of the rhinestone so uh, I have noticed that it is perfect if you have uh, uh, rhinestones uh, with AB finish and are uh, scratched a little bit because you just can't see the scratches here so um, I went uh, through my rhinestone uh, rhinestones and wanted to find the damaged one so that you can see how uh, it can save your rhinestones you see this rhinestone this is a water red color something like that look it's chipped here on this side but this bezel we totally cover it and you will not have a problems with it so for this tutorial I will be using 12 OC beads and these are silver lined and these are uh, golden uh, galvanized seed beads and uh, these are only six eleven o's in trans transparent for the back side and i will be using 018 fishing thread so let's get started okay so i'm gonna pick three galvanized gold beads three transparent beads and six galvanized gold beads four five six it's like this i'm gonna pull all this down and go through all these beads once again 
okay this is what I have done I still haven't uh, tied my knots I just wanted to show you where I have uh, exited okay so I have pulled my beads down and went through my beads and exited here through this um, first transparent gold and I will skip this middle one and will go here through these next three beads like this because I want to make a peak. Sorry about my, about my nail polish. I was actually planning to make a tutorial two days ago and I have uh, put my nail polish so that I can have pretty nails. But what can I say? Life happened. Okay, so this is where I am now. And now I'm going to tie my knot here and we'll go through all these beads and exit through this first bead right next to this transparent one okay I'm gonna tie my knot here and we'll exit through this bead okay so I'm here and now I'm gonna pick three transparent beads one two three and eight galvanized gold one two three four five six seven eight it's like this and now i'm gonna go through this same bead again i need this uh bezel for my project and since i will have to make it I'll put it in my bezel gallery so it is easier to find and I have also rearranged my gallery so you can see you can find it in the playlist and uh, I have sorted all bezels there uh, so if you are looking for uh, square bezels you will find this only square bezels there if you want uh, for round stones then you can find only bezels for the round stone it's not all it's not as it was as it was before all in one place it's kind of, it kind of look, look messy and new bezels bezels will uh, come in the future and it's just going to be way too much crowded there so i figured it that, that it would be easier to sort everything okay so i'm gonna go through this bead and through this this bead gonna skip this center one because I need to make this peak and then we'll exit through this one so I'm going through the first bead and going through these two right here okay I need to make this peak so now we are going from this lower part and first we're gonna pick eight galvanized gold beads and then three transparent ones the opposite than we have done before okay so i have eight of these and three of these okay and I will have to go this way okay so now I have to circle all this and skip this bead here so that it makes the peak and go once again and exit through this bead because I need to exit on that side and make a peak. In this step, we will have to circle everything around. Look. Oh. It's been a long time since I was making something. I mean, making 
like in the videos. <laughs> oh, forgot to click. Okay, then here. And as I said, I need to skip this feed. Not through this one, but through this one. Then down again. And through all these galvanized beads until I exit through the last one. Right here. Okay. So now we have to go through the upper part. You see our thread is going up, not down like here. And since it's going up, we need to make this part and we will put three beads, these transparent ones and eight galvanized and we'll exit here. Then we'll just go through these three beads, this one, this one, and this one. This step is a lot easier when it when it goes from this upper part then when it goes from the lower part because when it goes from the lower part we have to circle it once again so that we can exit here okay so just pick three beads and eight and go through this one and go through these three beads to exit uh, on this part but it will go this uh, in this uh, lower direction okay okay so I have exited here and now for this lower part we need to pick eight galvanized beads and three golden ones and go this way then circle all that once again so circle all that once again and you need to skip this center transparent bead. All right, and go down and exit for this upper passage again. All right, so I have exited here and now I need to pick three transparent golden beads. Only three and we'll go this way down through this first galvanized bead right here like this okay and now i'm gonna pick seven golden galvanized beads Four, five, six, seven, and we'll go up through this bead and through this one. Then we'll skip this bead and go through these next two beads. Come on. So I'm going through this galvanized bead and through this nothing okay through these two beads like this skipping the center bead and going down through these two beads just like this okay so I have made a peak and now you see this is the center bead we have three beads here from our joint bead 
then this center bead and three beads here from this joint bead so I'm gonna go through this center bead just gonna continue my way down I think I need to clean my lens look bluey okay so I have exited here I'm gonna clean the lens I'm not sure if it's any better I think it's just the lighting it's, I don't know. it's weird okay so I have exited here now I'm gonna pick six transparent golden beads one transparent 11 0 and six beads again six golden ones again five and six like this and now I'm gonna go through this same bead again like this now I'm gonna go through these three beads down and now I'm just gonna go through these three beads up and through this center bead it's the fourth bead okay so I went through these seven beads, three from here and four when I was going up. I'm going to make this same loop here again. Okay, I'm going to go down and repeat this step all the way around until I get here. All right, guys, so this is how this looks. And my last loop was here. And I just went down through these three beads and through this four and exited here. Now I have to go up and exit through this transparent bead. Just going to climb up and exit through this transparent bead. Like this. And now I'm going to connect all these transparent beads with only one golden 12-0. So I'm just going to pick one and go through the next bead. So easy. Okay. Just repeat this step all the way around and you can go through all this two or three more times to reinforce it. Just don't pull your thread tight before you we put the rhinestone we're gonna put the rhinestone after I make two circles here okay as you can see I have circled all this multiple times you can see my threads here three and now I'm gonna take my damaged rhinestone the chip is here I'm gonna reverse it clean it a little bit and we'll put my chipped side here, you see, here. And so that this part can cover it, I'm going to pull my thread like this. And here's the rhinestone. The chip is here but you will not see it later when we add the decorations and everything will look just perfect look okay let's put it a little bit in the center and that's all so so pretty okay so I have exited here and to continue my work, I need to climb up through all these beads and exit 
through this one here. So I'm just going to go up and up here. Now, you can start working from this place by adding beads here or even here, but you can just simply go through this joint bead right here and continue this way. There we are. Okay. Okay, so our bezel is done. Thank you, Anna Conti. I think she made with seven, but since it's a round construction, it doesn't matter if uh, it's even or odd number because it's going to look similar in the end. Now, uh, I will put the link down below for her tutorial. Uh, just going to tell you what, what you're going to need for this project of hers. She has put some uh, materials. This is in a, another color. So she was using uh, Rivoli 18. And uh, for this, oh my God, I need to see if she was using seven or eight. But for this, I was using uh, four millimeter rondelles, six pieces and also 12 in another color so you see whites here and green ones are 12 pieces and 36 super duo beads you can see them here and i have made all this with 12 o seed beads all these beads are 12 o seed beads she was combining 11 o's and 15 o's so yeah i'm gonna check and leave the link down below so that you can uh, make this pendant by watching her tutorial if you are going to use uh, 15 o's and 11 o's then you should use uh, the count and the size of beads that she was uh, mentioning in her tutorial yeah all right guys so uh this is the bezel i'm gonna put it in my gallery because i'm going to use it for my next project and uh, see you next time ciao